For my clinic, um, I do the bread and butter, of course, the nose, the snoring and all that, but the two things which we are very well known for in this clinic is uh, one is children's ENT and the other one is uh, ear and hearing uh, ENT. So for children's ENT, it is very subspecialized because not many people are comfortable handling children and uh, the anatomy of the child is just very different. Very small, uh, very difficult to access, especially for the small orifices of the ear, nose and throat and the tissues are very delicate. So parents are really looking for a clinic which is uh, used to doing uh, children's ENT and to have um, safe surgery, to have short recovery times, to have gentle tissue handling, gentle post-op care. Uh, but a very big problem also with children's ENT is the diagnosis. Because the, the children's ENT is not so well uh, known uh, and not so many people train in it and the congenital disorders which are from birth are hard to diagnose. Children are not very good at giving their own history. Yeah, and the parents and caregivers are sometimes not there all the time, so you can have a family with three caregivers giving different histories. So the diagnosis, I would say, is more important even than the surgery because you could go to a wrong surgery if you did a wrong diagnosis. Um, so for children's ENT, uh, we, we are well known for children's ENT here. The other thing is the hearing and the, and the ear uh, ENT because I trained uh, my sub-specializations in America and in Japan were for these. So the, for hearing, for example, um, many people actually come for the complex ear surgeries. Uh, for example, very small incisionless surgeries that you can do with endoscopes to the ear instead of opening up big uh, incisions externally. The last surgery maybe that I'll mention briefly is uh, where we uh, are well known here for is actually microtia. Microtia is a malformed ear. Some are born with a very small ear, some are born with no external ear at all. And so for these patients, um, it's a huge problem with self-esteem. Yeah, I have known six-year-old children who try to jump off buildings because they've been teased at school. I've known people who don't want to get married, uh, don't want to take wedding photos because they have no year and so we actually can we have many options nowadays we can use their own ribs we take three or four parts partial uh, ribs and we can fabricate it into a three-dimensional uh, external ear and uh, we can actually make a new ear for them yeah so that's also um, a big thing in this clinic